as I started to run, uh, that's when the ceiling and the rafters uh, came down on top of me. About a scary and close call for a Murray County firefighter who barely escaped a burning home after a garage collapse. While no one got hurt, the firefighter tells News Channel 5's Matthew Torres it could have been worse, if not for some quick thinking. This is a dangerous job. As a division chief for the Murray County Fire Department, Jeff Hardy uh, trains other firefighters on how to react. Up. Friday night, a call would test how he would react. This is uh, the closest call I've ever had in 15 years. He and his wife were on their way to a work banquet when duty called. A house on Tyndall Lane in Columbia was burning fast. This is the nozzle um, and it completely burned all the plastic off of it. It was so hot and moved so quickly the team couldn't stay in long. This picture shows him by the garage door with the inferno right above him. Meanwhile, a lieutenant was yelling for him to get out. It didn't capture what happened seconds later. As I started to run, uh, that's when the ceiling and the rafters uh, came down on top of me. And as I ran into the garage, I kept pushing forward, trying to get out of the residence. Hardy only had a few seconds to escape, and even though the garage fell on top of him, he says he wasn't panicked. He was at ease knowing his training. That helped me remain as calm as possible. As he found an opening to escape, the lieutenant also acted swiftly. And he saw an opening to my left, uh, was able to reach in, grab my arm, and help guide me out and uh, get out from underneath all the rubble. Oh, if we would have hesitated, uh, the outcome could have been different. It is a dangerous job, and even then, he still fulfilled his role, helping put out the fire after the escape. And I'm here to help my neighbors. In Columbia, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. The cause of the fire is under investigation. The Mount Pleasant Fire Department and Columbia Fire and Rescue helped with this.